to the shelter I got an email last night that their cats are code red which means they are completely full not surprising this time of year so I'm heading over there right now so that we can pull some cats and save some lives so let's go see what we find I'm gonna show you two more kittens that um, were rescued yesterday that have a different foster and rescue from us, so they're not gonna live here, but we're gonna cover medical. Foster said that she is concerned that one of them has something wrong with its leg, like it can't use it, which we didn't know about, and then we need to get tests and do just routine vaccines and exams on them too. So let me go grab them. They're both really scared. This one, the foster is calling Han. Hi, bud. Oh my goodness, it's okay. He is real scared. It's all right, buddy. Oh yeah, he's not using that at all. I know, handsome. That's not good. We'll get some x-rays of him really quick and see what's going on. I'll have to set this down so I can palpate it. That leg is so atrophied, like there's no muscle tone, like it's been that way a long time. Let's see, let's see what's happening. Oh, girl feels okay. Always oh, purring, guys. It's almost like from the carpus down. We'll take some x-rays and check it out. Hey, buddy. He's got some little wounds on his face too. I don't know what happened there. And oh, that looks like ringworm. Need to grab some gloves or maybe road rash. But that other one looks like ringworm too. You're in rough shape, Han. Hmm? Well, I'm looking at the x-rays of Han and it's honestly really hard sometimes to look at tiny kittens just because they have so many growth plates, but I don't see anything obviously wrong. I mean, there could be some issues with the elbow, but that flexed and extended fine with no pain. We could just be dealing with a nerve paralysis, so we're just gonna see how he does and let him keep it for a little bit. He's not painful. And then just reevaluate. Hi, bud. Come here. Oh. Showing everybody your booty. Why don't you show us your front leg? Yeah, he's just not using it at all. better with ringworm situation. His little leg doesn't look good. We're gonna have to amputate. I know. And but his hair is starting to grow in. Okay, you're done, little boo. You're done. That makes me so sad how he tries to play with that little paw. Buddy. Get it with your good foot, Bubs. Are you ready for us to take that leg off? Yes and yeah. no, huh? Meepies. Meep is cute. I don't yeah. know why people are so scared of getting ringworm with her. Still got some. I know. I think that's just going to take a long time to grow in. He says, my foot still doesn't work. It has a callus on it, so I know it is been like that for quite a while, and I don't think it's gonna get any better. So once we get him over this skin infection, I think he'll be better off without that thing, because it's gonna just continue to create a sore. Are you so handsome? Huh? Kitty kitty? Kitty kitty? He's so precious. You're gonna be so handsome when you're done. What are you talking about? I'm already butamous. Well, checking on Meeps and Han, it looks like Meeps gave Han a little bit of a eye infection that she was completely healed from. Buddy. Meeps, I hope you're proud of yourself. She's like, I am, I love him. 
fun. So we're gonna start him on some antiviral eye drops and some oral antivirals now. I think his eyes are probably just red because he was scratching at them. Bubby. It's okay. It's okay, bud. So we have to do this every five minutes for six doses. Like I'm trying to hold a camera at the same time. Oh, I missed. Let me open that eye. Boop. Good job. He's almost dead. What a good boy. We are here with Hans today. He is due for his feline leukemia and his FERCP vaccine. Uh, he's looking good, as I hope you're seeing over the weeks. He has a lot of personality, which I like. I'm kind of partial uh, to these little kitties. <clears throat> and he's actually slated to... That's another vet ranch patient. We're filming here, please. You were filmed earlier. She's <laughs> jealous. But he's slated to get his leg amputated, so we're excited to kind of resolve that problem since we know it's not going to get better. Okay, we'll see how he handles the vaccine. Okay, I'm sorry. So if I can get this in the back, here we go. Perfect. Thank you for being quiet for the remainder. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is just the saddest little face ever, friend. Hey, no, we'll figure it out. Yeah, what's happening here? It's like. No good. I'll be wearing gloves. I'm freaking wants, out. He oh. wants to have some dippity dips. You want this? No. He's like, no, please, no. I got my This is like smeared on his face. No, oh, bud. I don't like that you're just so. Here comes the vaccine, John. Well, I think we just need to bite the bullet and schedule him for neuter and amputation and get it done. He just doesn't use his other leg normally because he's hunched down all the time and he has no muscle there and it's not good for him as he's wearing down the skin but what are we going to do about all this stuff on your face dip dip dip, dip. dip. but hi he's just getting so big yeah he it's is like he's not like hitting anymore so one ignore the uh, screaming bird next to us but we are going to neuter and amputate Han's leg today. We've gone back and forth with it. I think we should do it now before he gets any bigger. And he puts a lot of weight on his joint, which is not good for him. And it also makes him walk like this with his other front leg hunched. Do you like when you do like that? Like how? How? Like this. Like a dinosaur. Front leg <laughs> so, stop. <laughs> so we don't want him walking like this with his other front leg hunched. Okay. Uh, because it is messing up all of his body. The way he's rolling, his other joints, his posture. So it's time. It's time. I know I'm going to get a plaque from people, but I don't care. It's my job to make the best decision. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Neuter time, we just did his amputation and unfortunately the camera was not in view. That's okay, the amputation went well, just like this neuter's going. I don't know, they're like, maybe he's just a greasy boy. All right, by gosh, he's neutered now. Perfect. Okay. This is post-op here. We're just cleaning them up. Unfortunately, um, we had some camera issues with the procedure as far as um, filming, which is kind of a bummer that that happens. So uh, this is the amputation site. Looks pretty good. A lot of extra skin there, but that's okay. He's a medium haired cat. So once all this grows in, uh, nobody will know the difference and he won't have a scar. Uh, the procedure went really well. Uh, we also got him neutered, and uh, hopefully we're gonna get him on some HLK, which is a little cocktail we use 
for pain medicine uh, or pain control uh, for the next 24 hours after an amputation like this. So, so far, so good. Hey, buddy. Han is awake. He has a pretty good constant rate infusion of pain medication right now. Hydromorphone, lidocaine, and ketamine. So he's gonna be free out of it for a day, but we just wanna make sure his pain is controlled. Okay, this is Hans, like you don't know Hans. This is Hans. And for anybody who jumps into the middle of the video, this is Hans. Um, Hans is here, this is the uh, day after his procedure. Everything went really well. He's doing really good. Uh, super active this morning. Um, his incision looks pretty good. Uh, he actually rolled around and pulled out his catheter this morning, so we're going to go ahead and remove that. So the procedure went really well. Unfortunately, we did not get as much on video as we wanted because the camera moved. I wish everybody could hear that. He's literally just purring. Is that it? That's it. So um, we just kind of put this on him because he was moving around in the cage. We'll clean him up really good. Uh, but he does great. I think he's going to be a lot happier without uh, dinosaur arm or whatever it was. Okay. Good morning, Han. Uh-oh, I dropped your toy. Look at him. Look at your little sweater. I feel like he is already standing up a little taller. That makes me feel good. Yes. What is it? Let's see, it's four days post-op. You seem pretty happy, friend. Decision looks great. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. He likes his booty spanked. He's so cute. I'm hoping Han is gonna get adopted this morning. He has a potential adopter coming from Ohio. I can't imagine why they would drive several days and not take this little handsome handsome home. Yeah, let's clean your nose up. Well, we are telling Han bye. It has been such a long journey. It's not the same just having a Han and not a Solo, but I'm so glad um, that I ended up inheriting him after a big cat rescue mission. I would not change that for anything. So thank you guys so much for all your support. I mean, when you guys watch our videos, share our videos, donate to Abandoned Pet Project, I mean, even just commenting anything really, really helps to spread our cause. And we thank you guys so much for all your support. Um, we could not rescue cats like Han and give them the best medical care possible. So thank you guys so much. And we'll see you in the next case. Bye. You want me to let you go? In the face. He's baby. He's baby. Okay, go. Go, go, go. He used to play. Crying? No. <laughs> but I want to. I will later. Okay. Meeps is already crying in there. Oh, my God. He has a dirty butt all the time, but it's not his fault. He just can't reach it. He's got so much love. You can't reach it. Okay, I love you. Okay, you're new mom. Bye-bye, mom. Bye.